These are good days. We'll take it. Uh, and speaking of quiet days, we oh. had a quiet day on the weather front, too. Not bad. A good way to start the week, and a lot of people were off. Tomorrow, though, eh, we go back into our rainy pattern. Well, we expect it, though, right? Uh, some snow in the higher elevations right now. Nothing going on just yet. A nice commute through the passes. We do have a system just off the coast, and that's going to give us some rain for the morning commute and a, pretty much a rainy day. It probably won't slow down until at least 4 o'clock as the warm front passes, and then closer to midnight, the cold front will pass. This will give us some reinforcement into the good part of Wednesday morning, but not a whole lot of rain by Wednesday morning. By that point, it starts to shut itself off, and then we go into another area of high pressure, which will keep us dry through the weekend. So tomorrow, 630, there's the widespread rain. Look at the arrows on here, especially along the coast. The wind's coming in out of the south and southwest, 20 to 30 miles per hour, also across the San Juan Islands. This is 1230. You've got more rain in place, and notice it's not heavy downpours, but it's just a day where it just keeps coming down all day. By 5 o'clock from Everett to the north, you've got some of the rain behind it turning to scattered showers. Here comes the cold front. That's the warm front. Here comes the cold front. You'll see it right there and sweep right in. That's going to be about 12 o'clock midnight to 1 o'clock in the morning. It's a fast moving system behind it. The winds start to become more southwest. And while they're not as gusty, they're still in place. So winds will be another part of the story. Wednesday by the afternoon, a few scattered showers from 7 to 12. After that, we're pretty much done with it. It's going to shut off for a couple of days. As far as rainfall totals, uh, by Tuesday, 6 o'clock, anywhere from almost an inch along the coast, as you'd expect, to about 3 tenths Bremerton, uh, almost uh, seven, about 0.74 for Shelton, and up to the north, a little less than a tenth of an inch of rain. You add another quarter of an inch of rain as we go into Wednesday. Taking a look at the winds now. I want to focus on the winds. This is 12 p.m. tomorrow. Notice right out of the south, southwest, 20 to 35 mile per hour gusts. Look at all the 30s on the map now as we get to 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Not just along the coast, but pretty much up and down Puget Sound. And this is going to carry us right into Tuesday about 1130 during the afternoon. So yeah, at times you're going to notice the wind will be howling as that front passes. We do have a coastal flood advisory uh, for the central and southern part of the coast there for waves up to 10 feet. And then as you guess, with the winds coming through, gale warnings along the coast and up across the north, right across Puget Sound, we've got a small craft advisory through tomorrow, 7 p.m. Snowfall levels will be at 3,000 feet tomorrow. We'll add about one to five inches of snow across the passes. And then look at that, they jump way up as we go through the weekend. Of course, there's no rain to deal with. Take a look at the storm, though. Moving across the lower 48 tomorrow and into Wednesday, a lot of snow and rain, cold temperatures as well as we go into the week. Here's our seven day forecast. I talked about, you know, some cooler conditions, not so bad, but guess what, Greg, Amanda, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're done with the rain, more sunshine for you.